Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Developing an aero engine has always been Achilles heel of Indian aviation sector. It is a very critical and closely guarded technology which no countries want to share. India, which is the fifth largest economy in terms of GDP is bound to face various challenges geopolitically as well as in military. We all know how important air power is going to play its role in the coming times which is useless without an engine so if you look at the upcoming fighter jets of indian air force which includes lcas mark 1 1a lca mark 2 and amca mark 1 all are going to be powered by american engines Though the engines for LCA Mark II, which is GF414, is going to be made in India under transfer of technology, still India will have dependency for few critical components on US. Therefore, India must field its aero engine operational at least in next one decade to secure its air power and not to be arm twisted by Western world. This is where the Kaveri engine program of GTRE is very, very critical. GTRE's Kaveri program, which was sanctioned way back in 1989 with objective to power LCA Tejas Mark I fighter aircraft. The aim was to develop a low bypass twin spool turbofan engine of 80 kN thrust class with afterburner. However, there were two challenges. Due to lack of experience in development of low bypass engine, the Kaveri program or the Kaveri engine was not ready on time. Further, the power requirement of LCA was also increased due to its increased weight. GTRA Kaveri was officially then delinked from this program in September 2008 and the program was abandoned in 2014. So while GTRA was not able to achieve the increased thrust requirement, they had a significant learning in the first attempt itself of the development. Till now, nine full prototype engines and four core engines have been built. Total 3,217 hours of engine testing has been conducted. The GTR recovery, as we all know, has been able to achieve the weight thrust of 70.4 kN and dry thrust of 46 kN against desired weight thrust of 81 kN. The core of engine without afterburner has been stable and various past issues related to the core of engine has been fixed. It has met its dry thrust requirement of 46 kN, however, it is yet to be certified. Now, in January 2024, what we have observed that GTRE has commenced the working on the afterburner section of the Kaveri engine as well, and it has issued tenders for the various parts of it. On 1st July 2024, it was reported that Safran Audit has cleared GTRE GTX 35 VS Kaveri for aircraft integration and engine has attained a sufficient level of maturity for carrying out a limited envelope flight testing integrated with an aircraft. The clearance for the integration of five prototypes of Kaveri engines were given which are for K5, K6, K7, K8 and K9 and were tested for about 145 hours like a transient test from idle to max reheat carried out first time successfully. These developments indicate that Kaveri engine program is back on track and soon the integration work of the engine on aircraft would commence to further test the engine. It's also worth noting that in November 2023, GTRE has issued tenders for the modification of LCA specific aircraft mounted accessory gearbox for utilization of the Kaveri engine. It had also issued tenders for upgrade of one unit of LCA Tejas engine starter unit for use in the flying test bed of dry Kaveri engine. So looking at all these developments and the progress, we can definitely see that the integration of Kaveri engine with LC Tejas is not far from reality. At the same time, the work on dry Kaveri engine is also going on in full swing. In February 2023, it was reported that Godrej and Boyce Manufacturing Corporation Limited has won the contract from GTRE to manufacture all eight modules of six dry cavalry engine. It will be the first private firm to produce jet engine module for dry cavalry engine of GTRE. The first engine 
is planned to be delivered by late 2024 and all six engines are slated to be delivered by August 2025. These engines will be further used for certification for the fly worthiness. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.